Hey guys, how are y'all doing? So um, today we're going to be doing a dish, an obviously very nighttime dish, and um, my lights are out, so we are doing it by lamp. Ooh, we're setting the mood, which I kind of like the lighting better, so maybe we'll do this more often. Um, so, um, by the way, I did try that makeup from the last Ipsy bag, and I liked it all, so there's that. Um, today we are going to be covering a few topics. First, let's get into um, this whole job situation. So I know if you follow me, a while back I talked about a job that I might be getting. Um, and I've told the people that I work for now that I was looking for something else. I have had a several opportunities or people that have offered me jobs in the past and I've always kind of turned them down. Well that other guy, that I was going to work for, he started dating my aunt, long story, and even worse news, okay, then I was like, this is never going to work out, so I was like, I'm not even going to try. Well, he passed away yesterday, he I just, he like, was, he died of a heart attack, like, very randomly, so rest in peace, you know, so that job didn't work out. Um. It, I'm not being heartless. I just I wasn't very close with this guy. I didn't know him very well, but he was very sweet in the times I did. How about that? Um, jump forward to today, and um, even though I have been kind of looking, keeping my eye out, I have I've kind of told the people I work for it'd probably be a year, year and a half before I leave. Well, I got a bank offer today. I had a doctor and a lawyer some people like sitting there like giving me some good job offers they're like hey you know really we you know, anyways I I got offered something that I really can't refuse I mean anyway so long story short I was telling these I was telling the offer that I took I said listen I like I mean I'm down for this I said but and he was like we'll talk it over with your husband and tomorrow I'll come in and um, if you want the job it's yours and I came home and talked to Jeremy and he's like, yeah, I mean, you really can't turn that down. I'm like, I know. I mean, I'm going to have to like redo my life. I'm going to have to get Nolan in daycare. I'm going to have two weeks to like change everything I do, but it's way, way, way past worth it. So like I'll probably be working there for a long time if this works out tomorrow. And anyway, and benefits and the whole shebang thing. So anyways, I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I um, I decided that if that this works out and tomorrow he comes in and I'm like, okay, I, I'm taking the job. So I might have to put in my two weeks notice this weekend and it's gonna be so like, no one's gonna see it coming. And I've been their longest standing employee. I've been with these people for seven years. Like it's gonna be a, and we're opening up a whole new company right now. It's going to be like a... I mean, they'll be fine without me. I'm sure everything will be fine and dandy. But um, it's also going to be a big transition because I'm going to have a lot of stuff I'm going to have to do there to get settled. Because, I mean, even today I was signing, like, contracts with other companies and stuff. Like, I'm deep involved in this business. So I've got to, like... Um, I've got to get my name off some stuff. Like, it's going to be intense. But I've got to take this job, like, straight up. So, let's hope that works out. Wink, wink. And, um, what else? Okay. In other news, um, Trump, he is a freaking kick A. Let's just be honest. Did you all watch the UN speech? The Trump UN, um, situation? Well, um... It was epic and made me proud to be American. Finally. Hi, Nolan. Nolan's still awake. Aw, uh, I do. Say hi. Oh, 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 oh. He's gonna go get his stool. Well, he was um, awesome, epic. He called out everybody and North Korea, calling Kim Jong Un Rocket Man. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Calling Kim Jong Un, watch out because mommy's doing the dishes, okay? And, and, and mommy, I got on. I know. And so, um, that's pretty much as brave as they come. 
So y'all better watch out because you know Kim. Oh, hey, no more slushy. Now it's yucky, ducky. Look at melted. It melted. I took him on a walk today and we went to go get an icy and it's melted. Oh, no. Okay. Nolan, mommy's trying to do the dishes, honey. Please. Get down. Honey, no more. Here, I, you can throw it in the trash. Here. Put in the trash. Thank you. Anyways, so, um, I mean, y'all know this. I've been getting extra water. Yeah, you know, I've already told y'all that. I've been going all out. Also, um. Hey, Mommy. Yeah? I, yeah. Hold on just a second. Uh, Say hi. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Okay, sorry. He's he was watching popcorn watching but he's watching Peppa Pig with a bowl of popcorn and I guess he wanted to watch I Spy so I was like well, you should be fully entertained anyways back to what I was saying so um Trump killed it in the UN speech I mean we called out our I mean pretty much normally in past presidencies plural we've gone back that we've gone in there and been like hey guys everybody feeling good would you like some tea would you like some coffee? We're just so happy to be here. This president pretty much walked in and was like, what up, listen, we're gonna get to it. Everything you've heard about me, it's true. So here's what it is. I mean, but he was presidential about it, but it was kind of that way. So I liked it better for that. But um, I mean, people better watch out. So. Um, I, he, we called out Iran and their crap. We've called, we called out um, Argentina and how socialism and all that, I mean, communism and stuff does not work. We called out, um, oh, Rocket Man. We called out uh, Kim Jong Un. Um, and when I say call out, I mean, we mentioned it and then we were like, this is what we don't like about it, this is why, and this is what needs to happen, and if it doesn't happen, this is what's gonna happen. And people believe them. Heck, I believe them. So, um, we'll see, guys. I don't know. All I'm saying, like I was saying before, is you should probably grab an extra bottle of water at the grocery store, or a gallon. Just because, I always just think that when people panic, the first thing they think is water and gas. So, I just don't want the water to run out. I'm a thirsty person and I need some water. Um, what else? What, I mean, what has not been going on in politics? Oh, they're trying to get rid of Obamacare. We only got a couple of days left for that. And um, we'll see, guys. I have not watched the news today, actually, because I've been busy about this whole possible job aspect thing. Um, and just, I went walking today. I'm trying to get my, I mean, obviously, look at this. It's like a leg. I've got to start working out. I've got to get somewhat healthy. I have a doctor's appointment come uh, Monday for just a regular checkup. And, oh, we'll see. Um, What else has been going on? Oh, yeah. So, as far as Obamacare goes, I mean, what they're trying to vote in now is like Obamacare light, essentially. But, um... Oh, oh gosh, no, you scared me. You can't just run in here and be like, boo. Hi. Hi. Anyway, so that's what. Um, I wish I got I got I Mommy's doing her video. Um, I thought you were watching I Spy. Do you want me to turn I Spy off? No. Okay, let me watch your I Spy for a little bit. Um, He really did scare me. Oh my goodness. I watched the movie. It. Yeah. Nolan! Please. Nolan, please. No more scary. I watched the movie It this weekend. And, or, or last weekend. And, um, if y'all want to know something funny about me, I was never allowed to watch scary movies as a kid. I've never, until this day, seen the original movie It. Um, not that I don't like scary movies. I'm just not like, ooh, it's a horror movie, you know? Um, but Jeremy is. He, like, loves horror movies. So, he's like, you're going to see this. Uh, anyways, around Halloween time, I always get jump scared really easily. 
Okay, in life I get jump scared easily, but besides the point. I'm all over the place with this conversation. I had three specific goals, and now in the mix of the dishes, Nolan, the TV thing, and just my mind going crazy today, I the, the organization is just it's out the door, it's out the window, so. Um let's see. Oh gosh. I don't know. I mean, that's been the two main things, in my personal opinion, that I've been concentrating on, on you know, as far as politics goes this week. Um, you know, all the stupid riots and all that. I'm just over it. Okay. Not Charlottesville. No, I'm going to bring that up. There was, um, there was that one in St. Louis. It was a big riot because um, our protest, excuse me, then turn riot, like all these protests do. Um, it was a protest because, okay, and if you watch the video, uh, someone's going to be mad at me. Okay, so there was a, a, there was a Caucasian officer who shot another, another, dare I say another, because that's just what it is, um, at African American, young, younger guy. I don't really know his age. And I, and then as soon as I, and then the, the cop ended up getting off and he didn't get charged with anything and everybody freaked out about it okay so which this is count i couldn't even count how many times this has happened now i'm always on the cop side and i was in this case too i'm gonna be for real i didn't even remember what had happened this long ago in this case but i watched the video because i was curious and this guy is like doing a drug deal in a car. The cops go to pull him over. He has like a gun in his lap and the cops shot him. I mean, I mean, you're kind of asking for it, you know? Um, now this other guy, and I, now I'm not going to sound good because one was, and some of these other shootings with where this, the African Americans have gotten shot and stuff. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, somebody's got to go to jail. This is where I'm going with this. Just hang in there. Um, nobody went to jail in that case. I personally was like, oh, I might have to go cops on this one. But somebody needs to start going to jail because some of these other ones, people are just getting off with it, okay? And um, and even some of my cop friends are like, yeah, especially. And this has nothing to do with color. I'm just going strictly on the scenario right here. Okay, this and the most recent one was the gay kid. I don't even remember what state it's in. He had a knife. He was like, shoot me. He was kind of suicidal. Had like emotional, you know, mental problems. And anyways, he ends up, the cops end up shooting him fatally. Go back. We're going to scream back. Watch this video of this kid. This guy has a knife. Two knives, I think. I don't even think they were open, regardless of whether they were open or not. I mean, these cops are like way back in, I mean, there was two against one. I mean, could, why couldn't they have tased this guy or just like pepper sprayed him? Why did you have to shoot him? He had like a little baby knife. I mean, me and two girls could have taken him. He was obviously like, I don't know. I think that now that's ridiculous. Nothing to do with color and that. It's just like, I don't, I think that to watch these videos, you really have to try to be, you know, open-minded, look at the scenario, pretend everybody was puppy dogs, and what, no, that doesn't sound good either. I just try to look at the video and give my honest opinion, for real. I mean, that's what it is. I think that was wrong. The St. Louis one, oh, uh, I'm a little on the fence. I mean, Definitely reprimand for a little bit, but I, I don't, I mean, he was a drug dealer. He's sitting there having guns in his car and stuff around people. I really don't want people like that around anywhere, you know, but then I have like somebody who's like mentally unstable, just going through some real emotional stuff just with a knife. I mean, he's probably not being for real, you know what I mean? I just, I, I'm trying to weigh, weigh the people here. Um, now there's some other cases. Where there was that one guy who was in the back of the cop car and he got juggled around and died because of like fracture. I mean, that's just messed up. I don't, I don't know if they even had that case yet, but those cops definitely, you know. I'm always for the law and I'm always for law and order, but you know the people have rights too and law and order and you know 
listen, you know, something's gonna, you know, that's my opinion on that. I don't know. I'm more into world. I'm more into this whole North Korea stuff, to be honest with you. But there's my opinion on the local national news, okay? Um, what else has been going on? Hurricane Harvey happened. Um, wasn't involved. Hurricane Irma happened. Um, now the Jose, and now there's one Maria. I mean, then an earthquake. And then all these people at work, all my Spanish friends at work, were all speaking in Spanish. And uh, they have a bunch of family in Mexico. And they're like, hey, one of them, they're all speaking Spanish, and one of the Spanish speaking, somebody was translating for me what they were saying. And they're like, yeah, all everybody's saying that there's going to be another earthquake in America now. And I was like, yeah, probably, probably in California. I mean, that we've all been waiting for this, right? So, um, I'm not necessarily waiting. I mean, I hope it doesn't happen. We just pretty much know scientifically that it's inevitable. So, hang in tight for that one, because, I mean, y'all already know that's not going to be good. Um, there's been a lot of positive stuff happening, though. I will say that you in meeting in New York this week kind of restored my faith and like, okay, you know what? Heck yeah, we're American. We're, we all need to, we can do this and, um, you know, I, I believe in the people. I believe we'll make it to Mars. That whole Mars stuff happened. We shipped some more people to the, to the International Space Station. Um, I mean, there's a lot going on this month, guys. I mean, I don't even know. Do we need to go to Mars? <laughs> yeah. So let's check it out. Oh, and there was a satellite that's been going around Saturn for like 13 years or something, 14 years. Anyways, boom, it finally crashed into Saturn. So, um, hey, we've been to Saturn. I mean, I just think that we're all just doing some really amazing stuff in the world and it's really easy to harp on the negative but there's been also a lot of positive stuff happening so it, it this week has restored my faith in humanity also i might be getting a bank job coming up so it's not a bank i won't be working at a bank but not saying that's not a good job either honestly i probably make more than i'm making now too but I might be getting like a, oh, there's something, I need some, a change, guys. I need something different. I'm feeling it. I'm starting to feel the grind. And I love my job. I've just had it for a minute. And you know what? I think I need to change the pace. So, and no one's not been in any school or daycare or preschool. And y'all saw my child today. He could use it. I mean, he needs to be around other kids. He needs some interaction. But some people, other than his mom, I'm just saying it'd probably be really good for everybody involved. Because mommy is, mommy's tired. All right, guys, mommy's just tired. All right, so that was my dish video. We pretty much covered every stinking topic you could pos possibly come up with. Um, that was not my plan, but you know, it's the dish video and I can make it how I want. By the way, since I am so busy, and I believe on the 20th, a couple of days ago, um, YouTube took off their editing software, and I have no funds right now to go get any more editing software, because my dry, my new dryer broke. That's another story. I will be um, probably not editing my videos at all. It's going to be straightforward and raw. We can just call it raw. With, no. It's just going to be like this. So, um, thanks for watching. Oh my goodness. This could be the longest video I've posted in forever. There was a lot to say. I need to swallow and take a breath. Oh, I needed to vent and I got it out. Drop that mic or paper towel. And, um, like, subscribe, leave any comments below if you would like me to give you my opinion on anything. I sometimes do think of Thursdays uh, where I just give you all my opinion on a topic um, and leave 
just tell me what you think below or whatever. Like, subscribe. I enjoy doing these. It's like my personal diary. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Bye.